Okay, I'm in uh, Titus Canyon. I'm probably about five, ten miles into it so far. Already, the boys are uh, falling back, but I can see them coming around the corner. So, yeah, I have to get ready pretty soon for them. Let's take a look. Nothing there. No fan striping. They're yeah, looking pretty good. Big orange. Oh, I just got my uh, lift kit. It's a budget build, two and a half inch from uh, Terraflex. I didn't have time. I got it on Friday and we left on Sunday, so didn't have time to put it in. So, anyway, let's go over here and get ready. Titus Canyon roller coaster area. Last time I was in here, probably 2017. I'm trying to remember exactly. Yeah, I think some of something like that. So it's been about five years. And you can tell they've they took a bulldozer to this road since then. It's, well, there's a lot of stuff here that wasn't like that. I remember there was no little ridge on the side of the road there, the shelf road. And I remember some serious, you know, <laughs> washouts. It's like tire is right on the on the edge of washing out and taking your whole vehicle down there so uh, they've done improvements on it since then uh, the first time I came through here was it was kind of nice and then the second time um, yeah that's when I was all the washouts it was really bad I had some crazy uh, crazy memories I, was, I took my dad through here <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be that way so it was crazy But uh, sure enough, dad's not here. <laughs> and the road's a lot more passable. Shoot, you could probably do this in a Honda Civic. I haven't seen anything really worth uh, mentioning as, uh, as an off-road only. But and the first time, kind of like that. Not, not too much. But, but yeah, then uh, when I brought my dad, oh my goodness, that was bad. <laughs> See right here? Yeah, yeah. That this probably used to be like that. How it curved down to the to the left. <laughs> it probably took a lot of this rock and filled it in. Who knows? Or I wasn't a part of this process. They definitely uh, did some grading in here. Nice and sharp. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. Good thing it's cheap, that's for sure. Where's the boys at? They said he had to stop for a nature call, but I don't see them. Hey, are you guys rolling yet? Oh, there you are. I see you now. You're way down at the bottom. Suzuki right behind them. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there they are. Take a picture. All right, let's roll. Let's 
issue. Suzuki Vitara, like a 2005 or something like that. Four door model. Anyway, let's roll. Oh, there's the, the guitar again. Uh, I see him. the road Red Rock. I think a Red Rock is like iron ore or something. No good for gold and silver. Good for iron. I think green rock is like copper. And blue rock is silver. The yellow reddish rock has got gold in it. Chipmunk. Chippy monk. Oh, there's the toy. The Toyotas. Got a full size two wheel drive tundra rolling up the hill. Uh, 2005 Grand Vitara in tow. With a rooftop tent <laughs> and a two inch lift. Hey, there's the tractor that was doing all the grading. All right. Carving the shelf road out. There's a lot of tour bicycle van tours. Alright, so I'm gonna try to film this. But for the for downhill, because it's all downhill, you go over here, you put it in manual, and I put it put it in negative. And if I if it's too low of a gear, then I'll I'll switch it over to positive. 
Yeah. A lot of people are like, what's the M, what's that M for? Nobody knows. But look at it. I'm not even touching the brakes. Rolling down the hill, no problem. And it's keeping, like keeping the speed hard. down 13 without touching the brakes. It's going a little too fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and have to push that down a little bit. That's, yeah, see how it's kind of holding it? I've not touched the brake yet. And, okay, I'm touching the brake now. <laughs> I don't want to take it too fast. This thing decided to tell me about the oil life reset. Get that noise out of here. way soon so I'll, just, yeah, I'll just monitor it in here the round dial 10 miles an hour whatever and it's going about 12 now but yeah you can I've seen uh, people flower the tire at, you know hitting too much brake through this you'll heat up your brake and heat up your tire expand the tire and blow it up pow tire becomes a flower a giant flower a tire flower no good so to avoid that just downshift uh, on my suburban I can actually do the uh, the downshift you know on the on the column but this is kind of cool where you just switch it over to the M and and you could downshift that way. You, know, you don't have to have a manual transmission to downshift. And that's why they have the M, manual. Anyway, this is kind of hairy. Shelf road. All right, brakes. Anyway, as I was saying about the cycling tours, there's actually, right where that tractor is, I've seen vans, you know, park up there and let all the mountain, downhill mountain bikers go down Titus Canyon from there. I didn't see it today, maybe uh, missed them, maybe they're not doing anymore because of the liabilities, you just never know. I think you probably need permits. And the permit office is probably closed due to COVID, you never know. I did see a van tour dropping off people like near Rhyolite. They start off at Rhyolite and then uh, everybody jumps out and they take the road. But when, when we were making our turn into Titus Canyon, they were not. They were staying on the pavement. So maybe that's the kind of tour that van is doing now. Who knows? This thing, I set up for a Yubi Hebe crater, and it was doing fine <laughs> and until we got onto Titus Canyon. And now it says, cannot find path because the starting point is isolated from the rest of the road network. Your isolated net waypoints will be deleted. It's like, geez, thanks. Good job, Jeep. What the heck did you do that for? You, you, a lot of people they rent jeeps to come through this you know this is what the vehicle is designed for but i don't know whoever designed the software for the off-road is no good they, they weren't they were looking at passenger cars that's why i like this sucker. Yeah, a lot of people do gaia but i don't pay money to it i 
I bought this thing years ago, 130 bucks. Been pretty good ever since. I think the other one was like 170, something, something like that. It was like 300 dollars for two of them. Let's go upload on the M. There you go. Bring the RPMs down. I'll just monitor it. 15. Right, downshift again. And it's holding at 15, 3,000 RPM. Touching the brakes very little. Nice shelf drive. Okay, back you're up. And it looks like we can go straight back to D. So I switched it back to D. Cause it looks like uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a hill climbing. Still haven't touched the, the gas at all. And the vehicle's at 15. Like a little pool out there. And now I'm giving it the gas. Go up this little hill. Right. And probably gonna have to downshift again. There, there is one point where he, he's just not gonna put it in D and, and survive. So yeah, let's go back to manual. See what happens. See what the vehicle wants to do. With the gear it's in. But yeah, it's, it's holding good at 16 miles an hour. Titus Canyon, Death Valley, USA, California. Actually, Titus Canyon actually starts in Nevada side for about two, three miles and then becomes California. So, but anyway, I'm gonna sign out right here and do some driving. Y'all have a good one. Continuing, we just done all the switchback shelf roads. I think we're getting into towards the beginning of the end. This is going to be a lot of downhill. So. Kind of switching back and forth. Formations. Ah, should have. Rather than just talking about, it, I should have filmed it. But uh, you could tell where there's the silver, the iron, and copper. Maybe even some lead. But they won't let you touch these areas. It's a national park now. A lot of there are people that like to go climbing these things. I think they allow that, or you have to pull a permit. Ahead, uh, it gets really narrow. Uh, I think there's some uh, petroglyphs or little Indian petroglyphs. We'll be able to see them. I'll show them to you later. Be there in a minute. Okay, 
here's the ancient archives. I call them ancient graffiti. Right. Oh yeah, let's check that out. All up and down. I don't know what the heck those symbols mean, but okay. It's kind of like modern graffiti. What the heck are they trying to say? They carve it with their. <laughs> Someone said me. Yeah, a bunch of clowns. It was probably Indian clowns back then. Now it's uh, modern clowns. Uh, the world has a lot of clowns. Anyway, that's all from uh, petroglyphs. Entering the beginning of the end. I've seen climbers as early as here. Probably about another. Five minutes of this. I think somewhere back over there. It's the end. And no, it's not. It's not. There's. It gets really narrow. So this ain't the beginning of the end. Hey, <laughs> the Jeep navigation is finally uh, starting to acknowledge it. Why it did that before? I don't know. Your manual M3 is holding at 19 miles an hour. It's good enough for me. Come here at New Year's, Christmas holidays, you'll see a lot of people doing that. Like climbers, they use their Christmas vacation to come and climb the rocks of Titus Canyon. Sorry for the vibrations. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> So uh, 
Johnny just airdropped uh, his uh, his descent onto my phone, so I'll, maybe I'll dub it into my video. We'll see. Probably. My phone has enough room. Yeah, this is the nicest I've seen in Titus Canyon. I'm if you were to drive in like a Toyota Camry or Honda Civic in this, probably would have been just fine. But not much, not much scrapes. But uh, don't come here after a rain wash. Rain, uh, rain will wash it all out, and yeah, you'll be screwed. Serious tourist dest destination. A lot of people go through there. I saw a Volkswagen Jetta from Florida. I guess uh, some Russian family had rented it, and they were driving through this thing. I haven't seen them yet. They, they took off in front of me, so they're they're ahead of me in that r rented Volkswagen Jetta. So, and they're they'll probably be just fine. And if they're not, I'll I'll yank them out. But they'll, they'll be fine. They'll make it. But, yeah. That, wait for a rain wash. Uh, wash everything out. Dude. That'll, that'll be the end of that. For a while. So they grade it again. starts becoming like a tunnel almost look at that rocks I think this is where it used to be really screwed up I, my, my suburban went sideways the, 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 the rain washout I was going through that place sideways and they that's when I learned the Eaton G80 works <laughs> Look it up, what an Eaton G80. It worked for me, that's for sure. And that Willys models, like the JL Willys, they put a uh, limited slip differential in there. I mean, they really should put a something like an Eaton G80 in there. Because it becomes like kind of like a locker. They, some people say that uh, they go back to the 70s or whatever. They're called government lockers. G80. Whatever. Anyway. I know uh, I haven't talked to Cat Daddy in a long time. Shout out to Cat Daddy. I think his has a government locker. From, that's uh, the Cherokee Chief, the 70s. And that's basically what it is. A neat G80. GM, they don't consider the G80 uh, a locker. They consider it a uh, 
a limited slip differential that's you know that takes the same limited slip uh, fluids and to some degree it is but it just really clamps down one spot they've definitely cleaned it up check that out Oh my goodness. Yeah, right here is where, you, if you see rock climbers, this is where you're gonna see them. All over. Because uh, it's not as, you don't have to do much off-roading for this. I brought my Suburban through this. A lot of people, they park over here at the parking lot and they walk up to here and then they climb up this stuff. I will admit that when I came through here, I think it was like the day after New Year's or something like that. I come in here with a big old Suburban. <laughs> Everybody was shocked. They were like, what? Where did that Suburban come from? They didn't realize that I had uh, done the whole thing. And I will admit it, it felt tight in the Suburban, but at least it's doable. Two downshift to two. Kind of take it a little slower. It's down to 12 miles an hour. Look at this. Beauty. Beautiful. I didn't see the sign that said, watch out for hikers. The people, they'll walk up here in this area. And you're like, what the heck are these people doing on the side of the mountain? Between you and your suburban, <laughs> it's like a, it's crazy. But I guess it's fair game. I didn't see the sign this time. Look at this. This is getting nice and tight. It should be coming up any time now. Comes out to a, a gate and an outhouse. Oh yeah, I think uh, about a hundred yards away maybe. Death Valley. See the other side. Death Valley. Panamint Mountain Range. There's the gate. And there's the outhouse. We've now completed 
Titus Canyon, the one-way section. Pull over right here, wait for the boys. And so over there, stovepipe wells and bad water. And that's about it for now. Y'all have a good one.